guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe today I am filling my July favorites <laughs> this is actually like my fourth time today attempting to film it so let's hope it goes okay if you would like to see what my favorites were for the month of July just keep on watching Beauty, a few skincare a few hair care some accessories some miscellaneous items so let's just get started and I hope you enjoy so first things first, let's talk about the primer that I've been living for. It is this e.l.f. Cosmetics Poreless Face Primer. And I am absolutely obsessed. It was only like $6. I usually use the Laura Jella Primer. Or what other primer do I use? The Smashbox Primer. And I love... What other primer do I love? I can't even think about it because this is just what I've been living for. So this is the Poreless Face Primer from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's very, it's like pink. They have several primers. They have like a regular primer, a moisturizing primer, a photo finish primer. Um, this one actually, maybe because it said Poreless, it reminded me of the Milk um, Cosmetics Primer. That's like $30 or $40 from Sephora. This is so good. It really smooths out your face. It gives you that poreless finish. Um, it definitely it definitely lasts all day like any other primer. I usually have my makeup on for about 15 hours a day. It helps set it. Everything comes on smooth afterwards. It, like when you apply, I think I'm going to do like a get ready with me video so I could show you guys just like my everyday products. But when you apply it, you could instantly see it like smooth out your skin so of course your foundation your concealer your powder your contour stick everything is just gonna go on smooth because it has a smooth canvas and for six dollars I feel like you really cannot beat it speaking of foundation this past summer I've been using a mineral sheer tint foundation it is a lady boss by Drita from Mob Wives. So if you guys are in the Tri-State area, she has a store in Staten Island. Um, I believe she has two stores in Staten Island and she does sell these online. Or you could pick up something similar. It's a mineral sheer tint with a SPF 20. And it's just a lightweight mineral based foundation with a sheer natural finish. It moisturizes and it help keeps your skin appears flawless and radiant. I absolutely love this. I've been wearing this every single day. Even if I'm doing like that no makeup makeup look, I'll just throw this on with a concealer and some powder to set it all. And it looks fabulous. Or I'll do it with the full face like I have today. And it works so good. It's so lightweight. My mom actually bought this a few years ago when she was out here. And we just had a stop by Lady Boss because we're both like big Mob Wives fans. And I believe it retails for 20 bucks, but I'm sure you can find something similar if you are unable to get it. But for me, I'm just living, breathing, and dying for it. I love it so much. I used it in the summer because I felt like I wanted something lightweight, something not so heavy for like the intense humidity and heat that we've been getting. And I actually, like, you could definitely build up the coverage if you want like a more full coverage like I have today, but it still is like nice and like sheer and lightweight and like dewy so i absolutely love it i do see myself probably going to continue to use it like after the summer months and into the fall and winter next up i have my favorite all-time favorite baking setting powder you can use it to bake you could just use it to set you could use it it says the natural heat from your body will cook powder over base foundation or concealer giving you a flawless finish so it is from the revolution brand in the shade banana i believe it they only make it in this shade um it's a fairly small but it lasts you like i think they last me like three months and it's i use it every time i wear concealer so if you watch some of my last vlogs you might have seen me picking it up at ulta i have retails at like eight dollars it's fairly inexpensive i love it more than like the RMCA powder even more than the Laura Mercier powder it doesn't dry out my skin it doesn't give you any cracks I know it's hard to see because my bags are like really puffy and large today because I was watching a movie before I got ready and it was the um, the best of me by Nicholas Sparge Nicholas Sparks I was thinking of Nicholas Cage and Nicholas Sparks at the same time 
I was watching The Best of Me and that movie always gets me and always makes me cry. So that's why my eyes are a little bit poofy. If not, I would zoom in and show you guys the how great it is. I absolutely love it. I definitely recommend picking it up. And if you're gonna pick it up, pick up one or two because they sell out so fast. One time I ran out and I had to go to like three different Ulta's to get my hand on it. But like I said, it lasts months and months. It works great. It gives you that brightening phase, that brightening effect without like creasing or anything. So lastly, for cosmetics, I actually have the eyelashes that I am wearing right here. It is Eyelore. I absolutely love the Eyelore lashes. Um, Eyelor lashes with the Vegas Nay, especially like their mink finish ones, and Lily lashes are hands down my favorite lashes. And I've had my fair share of lashes. I've been wearing them probably for the past 10 years. And these will always be my two favorite brands. So the box is actually empty because I only picked up one. But it's the number 126 definition, a completely gorgeous spiky lash in sections, great for a defined and cool look. It, I feel very effortless. I feel like when I wear it with eyeliner, they're glam enough for like a full-on dramatic look, like a smoky eye. And I feel like when I'm wearing them just today with a little bit of shadow to give my eyes some definition, it's simplistic enough. These lashes are honestly so great and I'm so glad I stumbled across them because I've never tried them. They're definitely really lightweight. I've been reusing the reusable, like most falsies, but you guys have to try them. I love them, and I'm definitely going to go stock up on a few more. And I know I said that was my last one, but it's not. I was totally missing the Laura Jaller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator Palette. So basically, it is a palette with three different highlights. The highlights are Ballerina, Gilded Honey, and Peach Glow. I picked this up a few months ago, I believe in May, when Ulta was having like the Best of Beauty promotions throughout the month of May. And I want to say this was only $28. And that's really good because it has three highlighters. So, let me just swatch them for you. For those of you who know me, you know that I love champagne pop since it first came out i've had like i bought numerous amount of them i bought the jacqueline hill face palette with her collaboration with becca and that is my all-time favorite highlighter but these are definitely in second place so the one right here is ballerina that gold one is gilded honey and this one right here is peach glow they're definitely all Right, and you can probably see them on my fingertips as well. They are so pigmented, so dewy, so glowy. I absolutely love them. Um, it's for $28. I don't know what this palette retails from, but I'll leave the link down in the description bar below. But they are a little bit smaller, but with three of them, like, you're never going to run out. It also comes with this little brush. However, I do not use that brush. Just for reference, I use the Morph Y14 brush from the Gold Collection, and this is my favorite brush to apply foundation with. I just add a little here, a little here, a little here, and I love, like, that glowiness. And Gilded Honey, I believe, is their most glowy, but if I'm using another one and I want, like, a more intense look, I'll just add a little champagne pop and mix the two together, and I'm glowing for days. And y'all know, that's how I like it. So, next thing I'll go to is I have two products. Um, I guess you could, actually, you could say I have three products for, like, face and skin and stuff but two of them are from the soap and glory so the first one is the rich and faux miss soap and glowy body wash for the shower and for a bath i've used it both ways i absolutely love it it is my favorite it smells good it is extremely moisturizing like it feels i think it says it has a skin conditioner and raw flour honey and almond milk so i feel like with those ingredients just included it gives you like an extra soft um moisturized finish and it smells amazing and like it's just so gentle 
and good. I love it. It's definitely a fave. And I believe this big bottle, I believe, is only eight dollars. And I've had it already for a month, and I'm not even like a quarter of a way through. So a big reason I love Soap and Glory is because I have extremely super sensitive skin, and all of their products just they don't bother me. They don't irritate my skin. I'm able to use all of their products. Um, and then I just feel like they work. Their their hand food I can live for. Um, they have just so much products and I love them all. But another great thing for them is their very dry skin formula body moisturizer. I have this one in the small little travel size just because I do like to be careful just to make sure my body doesn't have any reactions. I am almost out of it. I've had this for a couple of months. It's great and small to just like kind of throw in your purse. It smells so clean. Like when you apply it, I just smell. So I believe the last thing I was saying was just how much I love this and that I'll definitely be purchasing it in a full size. So the last thing for kind of like body products is going to the be this Bure Charcoal Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. I felt like I just said charcoal 20 times. I used to have this in the charcoal exfoliator because Bure is a great like facial cleanser um brand and they have a great charcoal line the exfoliator just like i said it's a little too rough on my skin so a cleanser is working better for me i'm sure i could use both like um and swap them day in and day out but i've been loving this i feel like it takes off all my makeup all the dirt in my skin david actually loves it too it just gets everything i use it about twice a day in the morning and at night and it hasn't dried out my skin and it says it's great for oiling skin but i would recommend it what if you had dry as well i love it i love Bior. it's a great brand like i said and i feel like charcoal always just makes um like it intensifies the cleanliness if that makes any sense but yes i definitely have been loving this i use well between both of us we've used quite a bit of it but this is definitely staying with our face cleansers so next up um the last thing for like beauty um i have a two hair products i did a blog post on my like favorite hair products are like my hair care products i'll list that down below if you want to check it out because i did mention this um it is the velvet hammer hydrating control cream from dry bar dry bar is my favorite brand for hair care it is more pricey but it's definitely worth it this is um hydrating control cream for thick and coarse hair and nothing describes my hair better than a thick and coarse i have extremely thick hair it is like a lion's mane um, I like to mix this with a chai silk infused and just kind of like rub it through my hands and rub the fingers throughout my hair. It always gives it a great finish. Um, it smells, it smells incredible. I believe these retail for like $28 a pop, but they last forever. I've had this since like March and I use it about twice a week and it works so well. I highly recommend anything from Dry Bar. I love all of their products. This next hair care product, it's like this mini travel size i actually sold this for my mom when she was back up here in june back up here when she was back i always say up i stole this from my mom when she was up here visiting in june it is a mark anthony true professional dream waves beach spray and it's so crazy because i use this probably like every day that i don't straighten my hair which is probably like four or five times a week it's to create sexy tousled beach waves all year round and it's like i don't know like so much comes out and i feel like it works but i feel like it just has so much in it and it just gives you kind of like the tech sexy tousled effortless look um it's, it smells everything bitchy beachy it smells like you should be having a pina colada in your hand it's sitting by the ocean just hanging out i used it today how i styled my hair i usually don't style my hair like this but i wanted to try something new i just had a one inch one and um curled them all backwards and then i brushed it out and added this but i have used this um because i have naturally wavy hair so i just use damp um damp when my hair is damp i will add this into my hair and then scrunch it up a little bit and add this and it just it works so well it just gives me that effortless really that one looks like 
super duper beachy, super duper beachy, and it does like it intensifies your waves, so it gives you that look. And so I stole that from my mom, and I also stole from her. It's a 10 Miracle finishing spray. I'm not sure where she got these, but I will find them online and link them below. So this is a hairspray, and it adds shine, flexible hold formula, not sticky, color safe, quick drying, community resistant, weightless, adds body, adds control, brushable formula. Everything it says, it does. It is extremely, extremely brushable. And like my hair is kind of flat and I left it flat because I wanted to show you guys. But like when you spray it right here and you just do this, it instantly gives you so much volume. I like to add it like right underneath here. Imagine, and I'm just like tousling it with my fingers. Imagine if you use like a teasing brush or a comb. It just gives you so much body and this is just like at the roots i love this i don't know where she got it from but i'm gonna link everything below like i said and um i'll probably add on in the corner where she got these from and i'm definitely gonna be purchasing them in a full size so that is it for like cosmetics hair and body next i just have a few accessories and some miscellaneous items so first things first are these rings that I am wearing. So this one's like a cup and just a regular ring and this has this oval leaf shape and this is a cuff as well. Here's another one that I am not wearing just for a reference. I picked these up at Target. It was um, a mixture of regular rings and midi rings and this was what they came in. I don't have any rings left to show you. They were $12.99. I thought they were the Sugar Fix by Baba Bar that they carry at Target, but I don't believe so anymore. I'm going to try to find it online. If not, I'll do something similar. They are costume jewelry, so they're more like dipped in gold than are gold plated. But like I wear them all the time, more so on the weekends, but all day on the weekends they don't turn my fingers green. They, they keep the gold color. They haven't been like rusting and I really really like them because I'm really into rings and I do have like some like simple rings that are a little bit higher end but just for like every day if you just want to stack and add something these rings from Target are amazing I absolutely love them and the next thing I picked up I picked up when I went to Nordstrom's I don't know if I showed you guys these in my Nordstrom haul I don't think I did because they weren't included in their sale but they have um, like BP sunglasses, which is their junior brand. And their sunglasses are like all year round, only $12. So I picked up these. They are so stinking cute. They have, let me show you this spot. They have like a turtle casing and they're round with like this aviator style in the front. And David's been telling me to get these for so long, but I just felt like they never fit my face. But I absolutely love these ones. I think they're so cute and fabulous and they fit my face and I like how, because I'm a fan of big sunglasses, so I like how round they are so they fit my face. So I absolutely love these. I'll link them down below. Like I said, they're only $12 and they look very designer. So the next two products are from Zara. Zara is one of my favorite stores and one of the train trends that I have been loving that came back to style are like those handkerchiefs that you tie around your neck or around your hair. Um, so I picked up almost all the silk handkerchief scarves I have from Zara. Um, and you could just tie them around your neck like so, more like this. So you're just, you know, I'm sure you guys have seen it. I'll insert pictures of people who have it correctly because I'm not sure how this looks but you just kind of tie it around your neck like so it really gives you something extra so I picked up this really fun print for summer I don't think I would use this outside of summer just because it's like that leafy print um, you could also use it to tie around your head like this you could use it as a scarf around your bag so this is one of the ones I picked up from them and this one which is also very tropical print but I think because it has like a black frame you could use it more throughout the year into the fall. 
Um, I definitely don't think this trend is going away. It kind of just came back in trend, I want to say, in the spring or when the new year started. So like I said, you could tie them. It looks really cute with your hair up. It's like that Jackie Kennedy style. It's a very gorgeous. I love both of these prints that I picked up from Zara. And I have a few other ones. I just don't know where I left them. So, but like I said, if you don't, I believe there were $12 or $15 each at Zara. But if you want to get them, I know they sell them at Forever. I've seen them at Target. I've seen them at PacSun. They're, they're being sold all over the place because they're definitely very, very in. So, I just want to show you two pairs of shoes and my new planner because I think I was talking about it in my Get Ready With Me video. And um, I want to focus more on YouTube and blogging. I barely started this YouTube, so not this YouTube, but I barely started YouTubing and filming videos and filming vlogs and this, this, and this. So I needed a way to keep track of it all, and I feel like I don't always keep track of my vlogging. So I needed to grab a new planner because my old planner was just outdated and old and not put together. It was just a big mess in between going to work full time and being like a living girlfriend playing housewife half the time and the new semester starting in September I wanted to pick up a new planner so I could just get organized I love making lists I love doing everything like that so I picked up this super cute planner it's Ashley G for blue sky it's a 2000, 2017 and 18 um, planner from Target it's also a super fun print anything that has a gold foil I love so it's just great if you need to like add your context planner, keep up with doctor's appointments, do your blog posts, anything you need to do. So I did start planning already for the month of August. Um, just different shoots I want to do, different videos I want to film, editing schedules and all of that. Plus, you know, your regular doctor's visit, dentist appointments, etc, etc. But I really loved this planner. I thought it was so cute. I do get like planner stickers from AC Moore. But this one came with a couple of them as well, which is really cool. I think it came with like two sheets of them. And then it has like a little folder. So I really liked it. I thought it was a great bang for your buck. I believe it was like $12 and I am seriously so obsessed with it. So if you just want to hold on a second and I will show you these two shoes that I've been loving. I actually... I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a blog post on these ones this coming up this week. So make sure to check out my blog. I will drop it down in the description bar below. But they are these sandals I purchased at Target. I've always been really nervous for like high knee gladiator sandals. But these ones I absolutely adore. I like the back how it's... I usually don't like a closed heel. But I like it in these because I feel like it just breaks it up a little bit. And they're just high and they're this tan color. And they're comfortable and they they feel like I feel like I'm not suffocating in them. Which is why I feel like I like the back of them. Um, it's this braided with a tie up lace. I picked them up at Target for like $35 and I absolutely love them. They look really cute with, I've worn them with a dress and a denim jacket tied around my waist. I've also worn them with shorts and like a white tee and a kimono and it looks absolutely stunning. So the very last thing I want to show you guys is another pair of shoes which I got from, sorry guys. So the very last thing I want to show you is a pair of shoes that I got for Call It Spring. These, they're these nude slip-on mules. They really are just slip-ons. I wear them in almost all of my vlogs and I'm just so obsessed with them. I got them for a killer sale. I believe they were only like $12 or $15 and they were regularly $40. I'll try to link them down below if there's any more in stock. I just think they are so stinking adorable. They're so comfortable. Um, they don't really slip too much, but I do have, um, they do sell these pads in case your foot slips in and out. They go with everything, and I feel like it really dresses up a simple outfit, or it dresses down something that's a little too extra, and you want to maybe wear it more day to day. So, yeah, that's everything that I've been loving this month. 
I would love to see what you guys are loving. If you want to drop it down in the comments below. If you think there's anything that I'm missing that I need to grab my hands on. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye, guys.